Is that you, Sophie? Yeah, it's me, Mum. Did you have a good day at school? It was okay. We had a letter today for about a trip to the zoo on Friday. He's pleased to come out He only says that I can sit next to her on the coach. Oh, I'm not sure, Sophie. Let's have a look at the letter then. See you, Sophia. Yeah? What time is that? Oh, we'll be back quite soon. Do you want anything to drink or anything? No, please. Mom, they took all the fruit again. Is that you, Sophie? Yeah, it's me, Mum. We had a letter today for about a trip to the zoo on Friday. He's pleased to come out here. He only says that I can sit next to her on the coach. Oh, I'm not sure, Sophie. Let's have a look at the letter then. <coughs> we'll have to see, Sophie, yeah? Tell me is that those bills on the side aren't your problem either. What bill? The bills you should have paid up a month ago. Why didn't you tell me you hadn't paid them off? I have paid them. Okay. I haven't paid them, but we don't. You're unbelievable, you are, James. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't paid them, but I was about no, to say you, that. You were about to tell me another lame and pathetic excuse, weren't you? I'm fed up with your excuses and you've. But I'm going to be doing. A load more work. A load more overtime. It's fine, I can cover it. it. It'll be fine, they'll be paid off. Okay? I'm fed up with your false promises and your lame excuses. Do you ever think how it's affecting me and Sophie? She came in today from school telling me about this school trip to the zoo. Do you know how hard it is for me to just keep disappointing her? I can't afford to pay for the trip. I can't even afford to put food on the table, James! Look, 
pay it off. You know I will work one. So a load of extra hours going at work and I'll just work them out. Look, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? No. No, James. It's not like it's the first time you've left on paid bills. You need to sort your life out. And think about how it's not just affecting you and me. But Sophie as well. I work overtime. I'm trying to sort things out and pay off your debts, but I can't keep doing it. See you, James. Take your bills and go. You make a lot of promises, James. The problem with you is you can't keep those promises. Just, just get out. Back. Only an hour late. There was traffic and I tried to ring three times and left a few voicemail messages anyway. Well, I didn't get them. Well, it's not my problem, is it, really? I suppose the next thing you're going to tell me is that those bills on the side aren't your problem either. What bills? The bills you should have paid up a month ago. Why didn't you tell me you hadn't paid them off? I have paid them. Okay. I haven't paid them, but we don't. You're unbelievable, you are, James. Yeah, you were about to tell me another lame and pathetic excuse, weren't you? It, it'll be fine, they'll be paid off. I can't even afford to put food on the table, James! I'll pay it off. I'm sorry, okay? It's not like it's the first time you've left on paid bills. It's not just affecting you and me. But Sophie as well. I can't keep doing it. Just take your bills and go! You make a lot of promises, James. The problem with you is you can't keep those promises. Just, just get out.